If the pitch bend isn't working, there are several troubleshooting principles that we can investigate. First, be sure that the tongue is arching in the right place. We want it to arch right up next to the mouthpiece. That's what we've been doing or trying to do. If the tongue arches in the back, like where you say k, you still can bend the pitch. And on the mouthpiece, you can have some success with this, but on the horn, on the saxophone, it's not quite as, as strong. So we want to arch in the front. There is a position in between arching in the front next to the mouthpiece and arching all the way back where you say k, where the pitch just doesn't move. So finding the exact right spot for arching is the key. Use the stick, uh, move the, the tongue close to the mouthpiece. In fact, try bending the pitch and I'm bending far back. And when, when you bend back, move the tongue forward and see if it has to move at all. If you're tonguing in the place that we're working on, it'll be right there. It'll only be a hair away from the mouthpiece. So that was movement. But if it's in the right place, it's just right there. Sometimes when arching the tongue, the edge of the tongue, right here, goes up with the arch point and it rises above the mouthpiece. This won't bend the pitch. Again, the exercise where we anchored the tongue to the gums and teeth on the bottom was to help us feel what it's like to keep the tip of the tongue down. Same thing when we anchored it to the mouthpiece. Sometimes it feels like you're taking the front of the tongue, the anterior, and pulling it back. That's because if it stays still and you're arching this point, you can see that it, it could feel like it's actually moving back. Right? So bend the pitch and then just move the tongue forward and see where the edge of the tongue is. If it's going above, it's there. It's above when you move the tongue forward. If it's in the right place, when you move it forward, you'll see the tip of the tongue is below the mouthpiece. If you can bend the pitch, but it's not as far as you would like, say we're bending down a major or minor third and you're trying to get a whole octave, it could be that the tongue is just not arching far enough. Since it's something you're not used to, your brain is saying, hey, it's arch, just as far as it goes. Well, use your stick, put it in, bend the pitch, as far as you can, and then move the stick back and forth between the roof of the mouth and the tongue, like that. It's not arched as far as it can go. And then your brain says, oh, sorry, my bad, here we go, try it again. It's not uncommon for the jaw to move up when arching the tongue. This will raise the pitch. I had mentioned to students in the past that I was going to get an eraser and stick it between their teeth so that it wouldn't move, and I, I never did it until one student said, hey, I, I've got a mint. So he pulls this mint out, sticks it between his teeth, and does the pitch bend exercise, keeping the teeth in place, and it worked. Then he took the mint out and he was fine. So, get an eraser, it's kind of weird, just a regular art eraser, cut it to the right size, stick it in between the teeth, and play the mouthpiece. <coughs> then try it without the eraser. That will stop you from biting, and it works. We talked about the position of the larynx being at rest. Sometimes students will play with the larynx high, which raises the pitch. So remind yourself of where the larynx position goes. So if it's up high, lower it. And that could be the problem. This next one is a bit tricky, and I 
seldom teach this to students, but on occasion it's where the problem lies, and that is the vocal folds have separated. If you yawn, the folds, they come apart like this. We want the folds to be close together because the wavelength then will bounce against the folds like a wall and create a standing wave, which then gives the player more strength, it gives the vocal tract more power over the, the bore of the mouthpiece or the saxophone. One thing you can do to pull the vocal folds together is whisper, like that, or do a glottal, right? So then if you start your mouthpiece pitch with, or, it, it might pull the folds together. Like I said, it's a little bit tricky and probably isn't necessary. We'll see how it goes.